Where's that old man? Oh, there he is. I'm coming. Oh, boy. This is so heavy. Wow. I think it might be a world record. I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting weak in my old age. Okay. Let's put a major tape on this thing and see what it is. I'll go get the camera. Okay. Oh, <laughs> it's looking good. Look at that. I'll get this. I think we got closer. Something's happening here. See that? Hi, everyone. Nice to see you all again. My dad got a pretty large eggplant he grew, and I just wanted to share that with you. I think you'll enjoy it. He's planning to share a little bit of tips on how he grew it, and maybe he can tell us a few things about it. Yeah, I just got the seed from the UK Exotic Seed Exchange that they have uh, every year, and uh, there was a eggplant seed in there, and I thought, well, since they're uh, similar in the same plant family as the tomatoes, uh, I might give it a try and see what it'll do. So I planted it, and, and uh, so tonight we're going to cut it loose and see what she weighs and maybe we might even have a world record here on our hands we're not sure yet can't uh, wait to find out yeah It'll so kind of, fun. Kind, of, kind of exciting so it measures bigger than the the world record but uh you never know there might be hollow in it or just run light but we'll find that out uh we're gonna cut it loose uh, uh trim some of the plant back so we can get to it and then we'll cut it and take it inside put it on the scale and see what it weighs um, but as far as growing them I pretty much grew it just like the uh, tomatoes I pruned it kind of like I do the giant tomatoes and uh, no special really no special care I didn't do any kind of crazy fertilizing or you know compost teas or anything that I just wanted to see what it could do on its own so uh, we'll see what happens here tonight yeah, so we'll flip the camera around, and then we'll get you a view of the plant, the eggplant on the on the vine on the plant, and I'll show you Dad trimming it back and cutting it off. So it's be kind of fun. So see you here, in a second. Here we go. All right, well, let's start cutting some of this off here. Get down to the get down to see what we got here. Just chain out of the way. Let's see. Look at that. That is a large yeah. eggplant. <laughs> yeah, that thing's huge. Got it hung in a sling so it didn't pull off its cap and be disqualified. I can't believe how big that is. Um, so, the plant's kind of showing its age a little bit, but it's not too bad for how old it is. Okay, looks like we're getting there. All right. How are we going to cut this thing off? Looks like we're right, right through here. There it goes. Cut it off. Is, now, uh, it, wow. That is, that's there. a monster. And that is huge. Gotta, <laughs> wow, I've never seen an eggplant that big. It's really. It's like a. That's like a watermelon. <laughs> Cut this stem down to an inch is what they want. So wow. maybe just. I think that's pretty good right there. All right. Now well, should we take it inside and put it on the scale? Yeah, let's do See it. See what happens. See what happens. All right. Wow, that looks like a big one, Dad. It does look big. It kind of feels kind of light, but I'm used to holding big tomatoes, so maybe it's maybe I'm just not very accurate. Um, I think we should. We're going to put a tape measure on this thing so you can see what how big it is. And uh, let's see. I'll go get the camera. We can get in closer. Okay. So there it is. It's uh, it's pretty big. Right, uh, right there, at 
26 and three quarters plus. Here, let me make sure. I want to get the view of the backside just so that people aren't doubting that it's actually that. All right, and then we'll we'll get just the end view of this tape going around. Yeah. Just want to get. All right, and that is for some reason that there we go. Right. So we're going to measure the other direction as well. Let's uh, go like this. Try to keep it there at the widest point. Come around here. Run it over there. Uh, looks like 31 and 5 eighths. Somewhere around there. Which is a good, that's a good number. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. So, I think the, the current world record is 24 inches around the equator. And I don't know what it was. Uh, they, he, Peter, Peter Glazebrook, uh, he's the one that these seeds uh, probably came from, at least his genetics. So he gets the credit for the uh, genetics of this thing. And it looks like this one's about 11 inches, and that's about what his current world record was, 11 inches, but it was 24 inches the other way, which is just 26 inches here, a little over. So... Now we're going to put it on the scale here in just a bit. You ready? Yeah, let's go. Okay. Here, here it goes. Uh, see, i got to wake the scale up. Come on. There it goes. Okay. Get it back to zero. There it is. Okay. Here's a moment of truth. Let's see if we got anything worth anything. It's going down. And... Touchdown. Woohoo! Look at that. It's 8.88 pounds, so 8.89 pounds. Looks like we first yeah. time ever growing one of these monsters and got a world, wow. good, got a world record. That's crazy, Dad. Can't believe it. Look at that. I guess the eggplants like my soil just like the tomatoes do. I'd have so, to say so. There for it you, is. For all you guys, you can see this is also another screen on the back of here. Yeah, and you can stick something else on there just so that, you know, try a couple of different objects so that people aren't doubting that it's here, I'll stick my, or something like I'll that. Stick, I'll stick my knife on here and you can see what it does. And if you want to stick a cell phone on there too, you can do that. So we'll just take those back off. Yeah, and then take the... And then take, plant off, take and the then plant back off, go back, go back, back to, to zero. And stick the other things on there or something. And, and yeah, there that's. So the scale is certified by the uh, Washington State Agricult Agriculture Department, and uh, they came out and they certified it for me. So let's look at that so again one more time. The the Eight scales. Point got this certification. It's been tested and approved by the Washington State Agriculture Department. Yeah, and there's the year. And that's the year January that it's done. It's good for two years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's so, cool. That's pretty neat, Dad. There you another, have it. That was a lot of fun. That's got another world record right there. So we're, I'll Check probably, out the world record. Probably try to grow them again next year. If I can get a 360 pan of this thing. They're quite easy to grow. They're easier than tomatoes. Less pruning. Plants are smaller. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, can you pick it up? Make sure people can see underneath. There's nothing under that scale. Oh, pick, under the scale. Pick the scale up? Yeah, sure. Just pick the whole scale up. It'll change the weight, obviously. But just make sure that, you know, people aren't thinking there's something jerry-rigged about it. Yeah, pretty neat.
Or I'm going to go put this back on the... And it didn't have any soft spots. It's got cracks, but it didn't have any soft spots, thankfully. I was trying to push it to the max, and it looks like it, we made it. So, and I cut it to an inch long the stem, so that's good. Um, yeah, I think there it is. Uh, another world record. That's great, Dad. I just, I'm pretty amazed. I want to fill it. Well, yeah, that actually is, it's actually heavier than I thought it would be because I've felt eggplants in the store and they're, they're really lightweight. Yeah, they're mostly foam when you cut them up. <laughs> yeah, there's not much to them. Yeah. Can't have... But this actually is quite a bit of weight there. Yeah. <clears throat> That's pretty neat. Good job, Dad. Thank you. Yeah. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my dad's latest um, eggplant he grew. Whatever you call them in the UK. What do you call them in the UK? Oh, they're called the aubergines. Aubergines? Uh, yeah, over across the pond, that's what they call them. They don't call them eggplants over there. Um, but uh, that's what they are, they're aubergines. Huh. O aubergines. Huh. So. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah you said um, that you just basically grew like a tomato. Yeah, just pruned it like... Tomato and kind of terminating a lot of the growth, like once you get the fruit set, like you do on a tomato, and, and uh, just keep the plant terminated and put all the energy into the fruit and uh, keep her watered. And uh, I didn't even put any shade over this one. It's, the part that was exposed to the light is more brown, and the other part's more purpley. So maybe next time I'll probably put it, something over that to shade that just to keep it nice and purple-like. But uh, yeah, so we're learning. It's the first time I've ever grown one of these things. And uh, it's been fun, a fun experience. So. It'd be neat to see what your next one will be like. Yeah, I'm, I'm anxious to try it again next year because they're, they're, they're quite fun to, to grow. So. Well, if you like this video and more content like this, such as gardening videos on tomatoes, tomato growing, composting, gardening, homesteading, cooking, that kind of thing. Please subscribe, leave a comment down below. If you have something you'd like to see us take a video of or produce, tell us and we will see what we can do. So I think that's all for now. And remember, Jesus, Jesus loves, loves you. you.